In this video, I'm going to continue processing the notes from this book, Artificial Intelligence, A Guide for Thinking Humans. And in the previous videos, I've created a bunch of notes about the definition of AI and machine learning and such like. And what I also like to do is to implement visual learning in my system. So I am not a very visual person by definition, and that's why like drawing mind maps and incorporating imagery in my note-taking system is has been proven to be very helpful and that's what I'm going to be doing today. So I I have this note here that I didn't show in the previous videos but this is basically what sparked this journey. I wanted to know more about the AI fundamentals and here I had a s several questions that I wanted to answer and then I asked and I was recommended this book by an AI friend of mine a, a real friend who specializes in AI. And most of these questions have already been answered from that book. So it was a really good recommendation. So from this note, I created this AI fundamentals drawing, which is completely empty. But I say this because I'm going to call this, the, the, the middle node of this mind map is going to be AI fundamentals. So it's going to be definitions and... Basically, yeah, the, the, the fundamentals of AI that I want to explore. So following this structure, there is singularity and a definition of artificial intelligence AI. So there are def def several things that I want to do here. So now I'm going to think about, do I want to have a node that's called definitions? And am I going to then expand this mind map later? Or am I take going to um, basically take this as a definitions mind map? Let me think. Um, yeah, I think I've decided that I'm not going to call it AI fundamentals. I'm going to call it AI definitions. And then I can create a later I create can create one that's called AI fundamentals if I want to um, but this actually the most important thing is that I uh, AI definitions so that I process these definition notes that I've created so far so let's start with the definition of artificial intelligence so here we have the note artificial intelligence. We have this uh, big note that has that contains the information. And what I like to do is I will then um, let's see insert any file artificial intelligence. And here is this note definition of artificial intelligence. And then I like to embed that as an image like this. So then I have the text in. Um, in this lovely Excalibur font and then I can use this as a base and I can then add some imagery here if I want to. But the, it was invented by um, McCarthy in 1956. So then I will, some of the things that are important here is that first defined in 1956 Um, by it was by McCarthy, uh, and then I like this a branch of computer science that studies the properties of intelligence by synthesizing intelligence. So let me just open up this note and let's just add this here. Okay, so this is the the text now, a branch of computer science that studies Okay. A branch of computer science that studies the properties of intelligence by synthesizing intelligence. 
maybe I like to uh, I like how this visually breaks down into bits here so it's the first defined here a branch of computer science yes and then later I have a smaller definition and let me see okay so this these two blocks are basically a definition so I will just add a node called definition here and then artificial intelligence also breaks down in this symbolic and sub-symbolic AI, right? That's what we have over here. Symbolic AI and sub-symbolic AI. So here I would then make another one, which is called uh, types of AI. And then here I would then add symbolic and sub-symbolic. Okay. So this note, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that here. Maybe it can be here. Like to have it. Uh, what I'm basically doing is I'm creating a visual essay. I really like to do that. So here it's very clear now what the definition is and where it came from. Let's do this by McCarthy. Like that, by McCarthy. And here the definition is clear. Now I have types of AI, symbolic AI and sub-symbolic AI. Now here I could insert this, let me see, sub-symbolic AI as image. Then it's clear and then I can do another image, symbolic AI as image. So here I can actually just remove these. And then if I want to explore symbolic and sub-symbolic AI, I have my nodes directly over here. So that is really nice. That means that I can basically visually explore the definitions of these art types of artificial intelligence. So I have done, now I've, I have a bit of an overview of what I want, but the next one is the next definition is going to be machine learning. But related to these two, there are a few more notes. So let's first deepen those a bit more. So symbolic AI leads to sub-symbolic AI, and sub-symbolic AI leads to perceptron. So with the perceptron, that should definitely be linked to this. So here... I should have, um, I don't know if I should have the file. Let me see, what does it look like? Perceptron. Here, well, it looks pretty cool. But then now I have basically have this, the basic structure going. Now I, I like to add some imagery. Well, first I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to uh, use this marker and I will then I like to start with the blue one in this case start with the thickest one no I want the other one is it this one yeah like that then I'm going to draw some more branches here definition and types of AI and then these branch out to this and this. And all of this branches, and all of this is related to this image over here. So I like to have that here. Now types of AI is going to be branching to symbolic AI and that one. I should use a different marker.
this one and this one and this leads to this one all right so this is already looking quite visually pleasing now what i like to do is i like to add some images so for sub symbolic ai we have this perceptron and for that we have a neuron so I will go to Google Images and I'm just going to add a neuron image. Feel free to join my community. I have courses on note-taking and we are all geeking out on learning techniques and studying. If you want to become a better engineer, you should definitely join this. And if you can't afford it, there is the free community. No questions asked. You can just add, you can just join and interact with people and make new friends. Okay, so after a bit of searching, I've now found a an image that I quite like, which then represents the perceptron in this case. So this looks pretty good. I like this. This is just an, a bit of extra visual um, imagery here. And then symbolic AI. This actually reminds me of a um, cover from the band Death Metal, or for, from the band called Death. Let me see, that's... Uh, death symbolic yeah <laughs> this is a really interesting image and I think I'm just going to take this image and use that because I like it, it it's a bit fun it's a cover of a, fa a, 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 of, um, a favorite death metal band of mine death symbolic but I can use this to remember better because perceptron is a neuron in my mind now. Now I link this to the brain. This is how I remember that sub-symbolic AI is inspired by biological brains. Now symbolic AI uh, is more logical. It has more reasoning. So I just have to figure out in a relationship why symbolic AI is actually related to this image, but that is the reason why I do it like this. And um, I, I like that there's an I in the, co in the um, cover here. So symbolic AI has an I and uses transparent reasoning and human language. So death symbolic is created by a human Chuck Schuldiner, who died recently, or who died very young. So that's the way I can remember this. But just by engaging with this material in a visual way like this, it is now being lodged into my mind. It's much clearer now. So now I have done my artificial intelligence definition. Now I can look more into machine learning. I have a couple of definitions for machine learning as well. So uh, machine learning here is algorithms that enable computers to learn from data. And that is a very nice and concise definition. So let's see. Let's add machine learning here. Machine learning. I'm going to make that orange. Like this and machine learning and I'm going to then maybe add this file machine learning and we had the file Machine learning is a branch of AI where machines learn from their own data or experiences. Now, like I'm just in the process of learning here. I'm just creating this as I go along. But as I create these mind maps, they are very likely to change. So I know that I'm going to be interested more in machine learning in the future. So in this case, I'm actually going to explain leave some room for expansion here because I know that I'm going to be learning more about machine learning because about training models and things like that. So I'm deliberately keeping some more space here 
But for now, I have the definition machine learning, algorithms that enable computers to learn from data. It's a branch of AI where machines learn from their own data or experiences. And this one has this elaboration about um, what learning actually is. And maybe I should have a definition of learning and intelligence in this, for example. Like, I have artificial intelligence and machine learning, but maybe I should actually have a section on intelligence and learning as well. So what is learning actually? And what is intelligence? And then I could have like a human sense, so maybe human and then machine. So what does it mean for a, for a machine to be intelligent? Because the def definition here is machine learning algorithms that enable to computers to learn from their own data. Well, maybe actually this, this should be down here. And maybe you start seeing now how manipulating these things visually can be so powerful because I'm sparking these questions for myself now as I'm engaging with these words and arranging them on a white on a board like this and playing with the ideas and I'm moving things around and now I I actually know I realize that okay we're going into machine learning but I don't even know what learning actually means so I could have a learning section here which is then related to this one, for example. And I can make these connections between there. What is intelligence? Well, maybe intelligence is more related to this one. So maybe this node should just go on in intelligence, and this is more about learning, etc. So what, what is intelligence? And then what is learning? So I think this is a good... the good way to spread them out. I have learning with machine learning and intelligence with artificial intelligence. And this is ba basically how I go about using Excaladraw in yeah, going deeper into this. And as I work through this, through these concepts, and as I go along, I identify gaps in my knowledge like I did now. I, like I should define what learning is before I even go into art in machine learning. And the result is that I have this mind map now that I can then use as a YouTube video. I can then start here with AI definitions and I can use this as a journey to go through. And then I can just take this as a visual essay and talk about what I've learned and share these things in a visually pleasing way. And not only is this a nice way of presenting, it's much nicer than just uh, PowerPoint slides, but the process of creating this helps me to learn so much more and so much deeper and so much better. And this is how I learn much faster than other people, even though you might, even though you see that I spend a lot of time doing this, but when I do it, I do it in I, I learn more much more deeper because I'm interacting with it visually. And this is why these tools are so helpful because I am not a visual person. I, I'm not a, an artist. I'm very bad at drawing. But I do like to arrange things visually. And this is a skill that I've learned over time. And it really helps me in my thinking.